the MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship 2019. Hello and a very warm welcome to Brands Hatch for the opening programme of the 2019 MV Commercials British Truck Racing Association Championship. Both of our champions 2018 are back, Luke Garrett in Division 2 and of course reigning Division 1 champion Brian Smith. No better way to open up the, our program with an interview with the defending champion, multiple champion, Ryan Smith. Ryan, how do you prepare for a fourth title? Well, we've had a bit of a up and down winter, really, because obviously we're building a new uh, truck. Um, we only made the decision a week ago to bring last year's winning truck out. So uh, I keep trying to get away from the British Championship and move to Europe uh, to test myself out there. But, you know, it's, it's, it's home route. and. The championship's getting bigger and better. You guys with the TV and stuff, BTRA working uh, more alongside Bark. Some of the competitors, new sponsors coming for the championship. So, you know, it's hard to leave. And uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to be here for some years yet. Luke Garrett, defending Division 2 champion. Great to have you back. And it looks like it's going to be another tough year. Yeah, obviously a lot of people have made a lot of changes over the winter. So, um, yeah, pretty optimistic to see what it's like when we go out now. but. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we can keep uh, keep it alive and hopefully win it, win it again. Loads of work over the winter? Yeah, new cab. Um, I've just done a little bit of work to the engine. Um, yeah, just, just little small small touches, but enough to, uh, hopefully enough to keep, keep them front. That's our defending champions. How did they get on in qualifying? Ryan Smith was quickest but had a lap taken away. David Jenkins quickest in Division 1 from Ryan Smith. And the multi-champion Stuart Oliver in third. Luke Garrett on pole for Division 2 from Steve Powell. Eric Forstrom is third ahead of Brad Smith and Franz Smith. Steve Powell qualifying looked like a battle between you and Luke again. It was uh, great at times last year. And of course that year when, when you two had a, a great championship between you. Um, we all never tire of seeing it to be honest. But I guess you all just want to be ahead and away. Yeah, no, pleased. we're very pleased to get on the front row. Um, we wasn't sure how he was doing because we've we got a lap timer in there. So, and I know Luke will be quick, but... We're a little bit off the pace off him, but over the moon. The boys have worked so hard over the winter. It's been a, it has been a long, long time and a lot of late nights. So to put it on the front rows over the moon with that. So hopefully we can convert it into the race. The first race of the weekend was the opening for the Division 2 trucks. 15 of the monsters on the Indy circuit here at Brand Tax. Luke Garrett, the pole position man, was unable to grab a win. That went to the flying fifth, Eric Forster from Luke Garrett with John Bowler in third. Division one saw David Jenkins have the initial lead, but under a lot of pressure from defending champion Ryan Smith, who took the opening win of the season. Jenkins in second and Stuart Oliver in third. Fran Smith in the number four truck, starting on pole position for our second race for Division two, alongside is Simon Cole for Team Hard. John Powell on row two with Brad Smith, and it's John Bowler and Steve Powell. Eric Forstrom and Luke Garrett on row four. The top eight being reversed now in truck racing. Trevor Martin and Bjorn Tierhuis next from Willem Breedijk and Paul Rivet. Graham Powell and Jim Bennett are next on the grid with Nim de Kroll and Adam Bint due to complete the grid as they come down towards the start-finish line, ready for this rolling start. And a new race format this year with Races one and three seeing the fastest drivers off the front and then races two and four partially reverse grids. The top eight being reversed. So that means that race one winner Eric Forstrom has a lot of work to do from the back of the field, as does Luke Garrett, who finished in second position in race number one. It's a good start. Simon Cole out front at the moment ahead of the number four Scania of Franz Smith. There is Eric Forstrom in the orange, black and white bonneted Sisu. 
Eric, of course, a regular here in the UK, regular race winner as well, but it's Simon Cole, another regular race winner, who's out front. Third place at the moment is John Powell, followed by his brother, Steve. We've got Graham Powell in the mix as well, which is good to see. Keep your eyes open for the 55 truck. Great to welcome him back into the championship as well. And Luke Garrett here is the man looking to climb his way up through the top eight and bag a few more points to continue the defence of the crown that he won last year. So across the line they go. Inside line there for the 16 truck of Brad Smith. And he's followed through by the black and light blue Taco Sis WDE Motorsport entered truck of Paul Rivette. And Paul, of course, the reigning Renault UK Clio Cup champion, four times champion in the Clios. They're in their last season this year. Paul's elected not to defend that championship. He had a taster of truck racing a couple of seasons ago. You might remember him having a good debut with us at Stenson. Got a podium on that occasion. And this is serious stuff for him. Serious stuff as well at the moment for the 41. Simon Cole, local man, comes from Dartford. And he's looking very handy at the moment in the position. Steve Powell in yellow, dicing hard there with Luke Garrett. Luke having a wide run through clearways, looking to get momentum onto the main straight here. And Powell about to have a look at his brother, John Powell in the six truck on the inside line. And Steve Powell powers past and makes up the position. Steve again, another local driver. We've got a, a good base of drivers in or around this area. Steve Publican of the Portobello in locally now is up the outside line goes Luke Garrett on John Powell. So Luke making a move on the outside line. Not easy to do, not easy to hang on the outside line as well at Druids. And you can see he can't quite hang on to it. John Powell in the blue six truck. Defends, does what he needed to do, got the grip, holds on to that place. Now we've got Paul Rivette having a look at the inside line now of Brad Smith. Brad goes on to the grass. Back end wants to come around, it's still Simon Cole out front. Fran Smith, the Dutchman, is in second place then, still ahead of Steve Powell. Luke Garrett's having another good look on the outside line to try and go through. Paul Rivette is keeping a watching brief from those as well. Now, Paul Rivette has come through the field from 11th position on the grid. Remember, he was outside the top eight positions that were reversed as Steve Powell now looks down the inside line and he's challenging Fran Smith. Is Fran's going to leave room as they go to Paddock Hill Bend? There is just about room there and I think he sees Steve Powell. They're side by side going into Paddock Hill Bend and Steve Powell is going to have the position and look at Luke Garrett coming up as well. Garrett looks on the inside, goes back to the outside. Surely he's going to flick back to the inside line now to pass Smith. But he's got Paul Rivette in the mix as well. Rivette, out of the two of them, saw the opportunity there. But Garrett hung on to the outside line. Rivette stays in fifth position. Steve Powell in yellow at the head of this quartet. He's running in P2. And remember that still out front is the 41 machine of Simon Cole. There he is in the beast. Is he getting away or is that gap coming down now with Steve Powell in second? Fran Smith third, fourth. Defending champion and early championship uh, Second place man, 42, Luke Garrett. Remember, Eric Forstrup will lead the championship after race one, having taken that superb opening win as Garrett goes down the inside of Smith now. Rivette just watching them at the moment and learning all the time. Rivette's had very little time in the truck. As we see Graham Powell there at the back of this group in the 55. Oh, and Luke Garrett dives down the inside line of Steve Powell and goes straight on at Druids, but keeps it on track. They're closing down now on Simon Cole, and it's Powell still there in second, but that was a brave move from Garrett. He's throwing everything to try and get past Steve Powell. Wild moment there for the 41. He's got a problem, and it's, a, it's an issue for Simon Cole, who slows up. Now, how many places is he going to lose? And all of a sudden, this is the battle for the lead. And Paul Rivette is up on a podium position here, potentially, in third. These are the top three drivers. Simon Cole is going into retirement. He was leading so confidently. And now, again, bad luck striking the 41 truck. But it's Steve Powell out front. Luke Garrett in second. They go on to the last two here at Brands Hatch. Paul Rivette's going to get a podium in his second race with us, and that is from outside the reverse top eight. I can't... Oh, there is there is Simon Cole out of the race, very, very sadly. And we pick up on the number 19 truck, Trevor Martin. Trev's running at the moment in sixth position, so it's going to be some good points for Trevor here. Another driver that started 
outside of the reversed, the partially reversed positions. And it is Steve Powell who is leading this one. Paul Rivette has got the fastest lap. That was on lap four. So Rivette, three shot goes the 51 of Bjorn T. Hoist, the Dutchman. Bjorn running in 10th place just behind Jim Bennett. But it's still Steve Powell out front. I don't think Steve Powell is going to lose this one. So it's MAN's one, two and three in Division Two for our second race of the 2019 season. Our opening meeting, it's going to be Steve Powell who takes the win. Look for the checker. There it is. Steve Powell wins. Luke Garrett second. Paul Rivette is going to take third. We wait, we wait. There he is. Paul Rivette third. Fourth place goes to Fran Smith from Brad Smith and Trevor Martin. John Powell in seventh from Willem Bledijk. Then it was Jim Bennett and Bjorn Tihoyes completing the top ten. Oh, what a fantastic race you two had. Obviously, you're going to feel a little bit for, for Simon disappearing off, but you two gave us a great start to the, the weekend and the season for you. Yeah, it's a great start. Um, obviously, yeah, you always want a little bit more, don't you? But um, yeah, it, it's been good. Obviously, yeah, it was sort of back, sort of back to 2015 when me and Steve were racing back then, and uh, it, it was as close then as it is now. And it, it's great racing, isn't it? So, Steve, congratulations on the win, but by no means easy, was it? No, definitely not. Probably one of my hardest races. I've raced quite a few with Luke, to be fair. Um, we're a little bit off the base of Luke, not a lot, but it's hard out here and it's tight and. You're defending, you're chasing as well. We was catching Simon sometimes and then you go again because you're defending, but it's a pleasure to race. It's so nice to see Paul on the podium with us. It's great, I think, and sun's out. I can't say no more. It's been a really good day, really good day. Paul, congratulations. Uh, a, a podium. You weren't even in the reverse part of the grid. They reversed the top eight. You were outside that. You came through, I think, fastest lap to be confirmed and a podium so you must be absolutely made up yeah i'm over the moon you know i didn't know fastest lap until you said then so that's amazing you know second race in in a in a truck that we're still getting to know so um you know as we work more and more with this we, i think we can make it faster and faster um i've got so much to learn you know i'm so green still with this truck racing but um i'll tell you what it was great fun watching those three in front of me because what a battle they had and uh, i can't wait until we're fast enough to join that join in with that battle with them Paul Rivette, a happy man after taking fastest lap and a podium here in race two for Division Two. Join us after the break when Division One take to the circuit once again. Great to welcome German visitor Clemens to the championship. Very warm welcome to the British Championship. Tell us a bit about your background, please. This is my third generation. So um, I was racing last year the full championship of the Dutch track racing and the year before we started the Nürburgring with the old Scania from Michael Johansen. Okay. And so I was racing karts before when I was younger but right now I'm too big and too heavy for go karts. <laughs> unusual conditions for Brands Hatch at the start of the year. Normally it's wet and horrible as it is at the end, but we've had sunshine. Uh, how's that contributed to your weekend so far? Uh, it's been brilliant, the weather's been great, the racing has been good and we're looking forward to a good day today. Tell us about yesterday's race. Yesterday got a good start up to P4 and then uh, me and Ray Coleman were battling all the way through non-stop until checkered flag and it was a good, uh, good fun from my point of view. Ray, fantastic to welcome you back to the British Championship. What's brought you back? Uh, the weather mainly at the moment. Um, now I'm going to do the uh, British this year. Uh, obviously it was a good experience last year, went out to the FIA. Uh, but yeah, back to the British and uh, hopefully it's going to be bigger and brighter here. Really good to have Ray Coleman back on the grid. And Ray starts fifth on the grid for this one. Kate Sandbergen on pole position. Clemens Hecker is alongside Mark Taylor and John Yule on row two from Ray Coleman. Then Stuart Oliver, David Jenkins and Ryan Smith. Ricky Collett due to start but Retirement for him in race number one means that he is a non-starter, sadly. So we're left with a quality grid of eight Division One trucks who are unleashed here at Franz Hatch. And it's Clemens Hecker, the German, round the outside of the Dutchman, K. Sandberg, and into Paddock Hill Bend. Zandbergen though up the inside line, Hecker runs a little bit wide, kicks up the dirt in the 25 MAN, but it's the 45, the Scania, that leads up into second place, good move by Mark Taylor. Ray Coleman in the mix there in the number two, so it's Zandbergen, Taylor, then the 25 of the German Clemens Hecker, he's followed by John Newell in for his first full season on return, remember he rejoined us at Donington Park last year, 
It's a good start from the Dutchman. We've seen him win races before in the British Truck Racing Association Championship. And the one thing you'll see from this race, this is our first reverse grid race of the year, so keep your eyes on the likes of Ryan Smith starting off the back and you'll see how hard it is to come through from the back of the field. We're coming up to the conclusion of lap one, and Ryan still there with David Jenkins now. Move on the inside line here for third place. John Newell looking to blast Clemens Hecker, and there is the defending champion, Ryan Smith, looking to make it four championships this year. He certainly got the campaign off to a great start with a win in race number one, and off the circuit goes Clemens Hecker, into the dirt, let's hope that he can get it back on. He's kept the momentum going. It's a nice, big, big dust cloud. Not so nice for the spectators there at Halewood. But nonetheless, he's back on circuit. And Clements has all the work to do now to come back into the race. If he can finish, he'll be guaranteed some half-decent points. But Stuart Oliver's made decent progress as well. He's made up a couple of positions. Oliver, you can see up ahead of Ray Coleman. Oliver in the bonneted black uh, GT Kelsa looks down the inside line of John Newell here with Ray Coleman right in behind as well in the lantern number two. David Jenkins still engaged in battle at the back there with Ryan Smith. Clemens Hecker going just through shot trying to recover, but it's still Keith Sandbergen out front. Mark Taylor taking a wide line. This is Mark Taylor's first full season as well. Joined us at the later stages of the 2018 season as a protege of Ryan Smith, the multiple champion. I've got to say, Mark Taylor has looked well on the pace. Look at him out front there. A little bit of damage on the front there as well. He's been getting stuck in as up into second place around the outside goes John Newell. Stuart Oliver busy putting pressure on as well. Spots the inside line from Newell, grabs it. Newell down into fourth place. It's still Sandberg and third, so he's got bonneted truck second and third at the moment. Watch Stuart Oliver, he's going to pounce in a minute. Comes off line, looks down the inside line, Neil to the outside, a bit of damage on the back of Ray Coleman, and then the number one of Ryan Smith. But here's his teammate going through shot, Mark Taylor, doing a superb job out front in this one. Are we going to see Mark Taylor grab a first win? Look how he's building a lead here, Mark Taylor. He's getting away. This is what you need to do when you start off the front. Mark started on the second row, remember? So this has not been an easy opening couple of laps for him off the front of the grid. He was on row two. He's worked his way through to the front. And now Stuart Oliver from P6 is up into second place, up ahead of Zandbergen. Newell is fourth in the 18. Ray Coleman looking up the inside line, currently in fifth place. But Mark Taylor, first full season for him and you know you can't underestimate how well the Sutton in Ashfield driver in the Taylor's truck sport racing machine is doing here gaining experience but he's got a multiple champion in his mirrors soon that's Stuart Oliver there is Sandberg in the 45 Ryan Smith's making progress now past Neil there's a little bit of contact there Coleman on the back end of Neil who seems to check up Dave Jenkins is getting involved as well in the black 69 little swipe from Coleman Jenkins barely had room manages to go through and he has a little Kiss and a cuddle there with the number two truck that goes through. Jenkins knows how to make places up in situations like that. And the Hyab back 69, new livery on the side of the truck for him, goes through every place gained from the reverse grid in these truck races means an extra point. So every pass counts in these reverse grid races. We have two reverse grid races in each of the divisions this weekend, a new format which has been adopted by the British Truck Racing Association. And the, I know the race fans love the reverse grid races. Um, times you have to give the guys a run out, the fastest guys a run out off the front as Ray Coleman and John Newell engage in battle a little bit more. It is good, as I say, to see both of these drivers back. John Newell back after a, a long layoff of truck racing and Ray Coleman has been away racing in Europe, but super to have him back in the BTRA Championship and those two very evenly matched out as Stuart Oliver has caught Mark Taylor looks to the outside line I think there might have been a little bit of a tap between the two of them as they went into Surtees and Taylor's making work around the outside line but scrubs off speed by getting it sideways and you can see when you're going sideways you're not going forward he lost a bit of time and now Stuart Oliver leads Kay Sandbergen in the chasing quartet 
Here's the battle now, and Taylor's teammates caught it. Ryan Smith down the inside, grabs a bit of grass, grabs the back end of Taylor's truck. They're both in the gravel. The two teammates have made contact. And are they going to be out of the race? They should keep it going. Taylor rejoins. Ryan Smith's keeping it going as well. That's why the guy is a multi-champion. He knows how to get out of trouble like that. He hasn't even lost a place, unless you said he was in second position by going through on the inside, but he's recovered. He's still in third. David Jenkins working the outside line hard there in the 69 truck but Ryan Smith comes through he's got to try and catch his young teammate once again and his teammate was having none of it he was racing the man we call the grand master in the team Ryan Smith the Mansfield man triple champion as we said being made to work so hard for every single place every single point here in the British Truck Racing Association Championship Ray Coleman busy chasing David Jenkins when you think you got oh and Ray Coleman it looks like maybe Curtains for Coleman goes wide there. He's picked up a fair amount of damage as John Neal looks to the outside line of the Dutchman, the Rainbow Warrior, coming under attack here as they go across the line. Neal's going to have to be brave to hold out on the outside line at Paddock. Might think about a switch back on the inside line. Coming down through Paddock Hill Bend, up in towards Halewoods Hill. There is Ryan Smith going through shot. Neil does go on the inside line of the Rainbow Warrior. Should make that position stick, but Zamberg is going to try and hold on on the outside line. Neil's having none of it. Pushes him out onto the grass street and grabs the position. David Jenkins seeing the squabble gets involved as well. Looks to the outside on the entry into Graham Hill Bend. There's Jenkins. They're all mindful of track limits here. I'm again seeing no penalties. I said this at the last round. There's Jenkins slots up on the inside line of the Dutchman and makes a very neat pass. That is the style that we're used to from the Diagraph high, high amp back driver Dave Jenkins going through makes up another place, another point potentially for him in the bag for this race but out front it is still Stuart Oliver in this one, there is Jenkins trying to close down on John Newell as they go into Paddock so it's Oliver from Mark Taylor in second. There is Taylor second. Ryan Smith closing in on him again. The defending champion in the number one. Jenkins looking very racy there on the outside line of John Neal. John not wanting to give up any positions. As you can well imagine, a little bit of truck falls off the back of John. They really are, some of these trucks, battle scarred. Uh, but they carry on. Look at Jenkins now. He's going to take a wide sweep here into... Graham Hill bend and out of it and hopefully pick up traction to maybe have a look at this end of that straight as Ryan Smith closes in on his teammate Mark Taylor again. Now this is going to be an interesting situation because they've already had the battle once and Ryan Smith will be challenging again. There is Stuart Oliver who's away down the road. Ryan Smith's got the fastest lap of the race on lap 13 so he knows he's got the pace the defending champion. Clemens Hecker still running, he's in seventh position and uh, Clements, after that trip through the gravel, is, is really learning how to cope with Brands Hatch this weekend, the German driver, side by side for second place. And you've got to say, the defending champion's got the inside line. It is going to be clear this time. So after that skirmish first time out, it's all settled now. And Grandmaster goes through the apprentice, uh, past the apprentice. So Mark Taylor is in third. But potentially, he's on the last lap. He could beyond for a maiden podium for Mark Taylor. That is the story for me for this race, as is the potential victory here for Stuart Oliver. The man from Hexham, multi-champion, worked his way. The key to this was getting those places in the early laps for me. And Stuart Oliver is going to win race two of the 2019 season here at Brands Hatch. An emphatic win it was as well by some 12 seconds. Ryan Smith is coming down to the line now. Ryan Smith in second. Wait for the checker. There is Ryan and a maiden podium for Mark Taylor in third. Dave Jenkins fourth. John Gill and Keith Sandberg and Clemens Hecker completing the finishers in seventh place. So what about that? Uh, not, not only two podiums, but a win. Great start. Absolutely, yeah. You know, I couldn't ask for any more. You know, two races in and I've been on the podium you know, in third and, and that one in a win, so over the moon with that, over the moon. For the team, uh, two and three, I'm happy with that. To lose one point at Stuart Oliver and not get a race win, can't win them all, as they say. With P2, uh, we got fastest lap, we scored the same amount of points as him, so uh, fantastic achievement for the team. Mark Taylor, many congratulations on your first podium. How does it feel? It feels brilliant. When you come round this morning, I asked how the outcome what I wanted, 
this is the outcome I wanted, though, and I can't wish for anything better now. I didn't see Ryan come on the inside. It was a good battle. It's the first time I've ever battled with him, and I shouldn't do really because we're our teammates. <laughs> but it was good fun. It's part of the sport, isn't it? So, yeah, we both end up on gravel. No, but hey, it don't matter, does it? Hey? Delighted to be with the chairman of the BTRA, Steve Horn. Steve, must be looking forward to this season. Yeah, it's a fantastic afternoon here at Brands Hatch for the opening rounds. We've got new regulations, new trucks, new drivers. Good start to 2019. We've 25 trucks in total and 18 of those are from Division 2. So really good, outstanding work over the winter. Some of the guys have put new engines in, um, electronic, you know, nice and clean. So the, the, the job is looking a lot, lot better. We've got a new clerk of the course, a whole new network of bark people coming to run the truck racing this year so new leap I'm, I'm hoping for great things in 2019 so it's eight trucks out of a, a pretty impressive 25 plus entry we've got of course with division two as well uh, this qualifies the Division 1s for their own races and indeed the Division 2 trucks for their own races as well. So it's Ryan Smith that leads, David Jenkins in second place, then Stuart Oliver followed by Ray Coleman and they pretty much started off in the order that they qualified apart from 7th and 8th because Clemens Hecker is about to come under pressure from Kay Sandbergen I think. So Sandbergen looking to try and get up into 7th place at the back of the field. But it's Ryan Smith, the defending champion, who's made a good start from David Jenkins. Then Stuart Oliver in the Kelsa GT7. Following them, it is Ray Coleman. And then following Ray, John Newell in the NWT number 18 truck. So there we said Zambergen was uh, up ahead. So Zambergen was ninth on the grid but has managed to pass Clemens Hecker as Ryan Smith crosses the line. So they're getting fairly well spaced out. Change of format, remember, this year for the trucks. The last couple of seasons we've been running reverse grid races, apart from race one, where they qualify for pole position for the first one, but from there on in, the race results are reversed to form up the grid for the next, next set of races. So uh, what we're doing now is fastest off the front in races one and three races two and four are reversed but only the top eight drivers so with eight drivers on track they should all get reversed here in division one so ryan smith the leader then david jenkins there's kelsa seven of stuart oliver then we've got a battle between john newell and it, has it got physical again because newell is off big time and on the grass coming towards this ray coleman in the two John Newell's truck, that wheel looks like a, a very jaunty angle and that I reckon could well be a non-finish for John Newell in the NWT truck, that's not what he wanted, Newell by my maths third in the standings, sorry fourth in the standings after race two incidentally oh Newell's got going again so maybe the camera angle was was a little bit weird on the, on the camber of the wheel on the truck and um, pontificating whether he'll come into no he's not going into the pit so John Newell is, I think, going to do a couple of exploratory laps to see if the truck is damaged. So Zandbergen up ahead of Clemens Hecker, two very welcome visitors indeed. Let's hope that these guys will join us for some other rounds later in the year. I know a lot of the Europeans are talking about going to Convoy in the Park, at Donington Park, which is an absolutely huge truck event. And we tend to get other Europeans coming and joining that as well. But Let's hope that they can be tempted to come and race maybe at the likes of Snetterton and the Pembrey meetings as well. For sure, we'll see them at the Nürburgring rounds later in the season as well. And as you can see, the two overseas visitors enjoying close track proximity at the moment. Zambergen makes a little mistake, goes wide. Clemens Hecker goes through on the inside line, up into seventh position. Here's Stuart Oliver still running in third, having a lonely track time of it at the moment. But here comes Ryan Smith crosses the line inside line onto the last lap no problems at all good driving there from mark taylor to allow his teammate pass and he's now effectively a little bit of a cushion to the advancing 69 truck of david jenkins jake's not close enough to make a challenge at the moment on ryan smith who's going to make it win number two and move on to 44 championship points 
out of a potential 45 in the three races. So that is a very, very good start to the year for Ryan Smith. But David Jenkins, the man who has fastest lap, he might want the regulations changed to pick up an extra point for that. Personally, I like the 15 to 1 points with nothing for fastest lap. As going wide there is Taylor, and that was to allow David Jenkins room. Nice move by Jenkins. Dealing with the eighth position truck, goes through Jenkins in second. Ryan Smith, though, the race leader, comes off the Clark curve and will spy the chequered flag along the pit wall to win race three of 2019. Smith wins. Jenkins just two seconds behind from Stuart Oliver and Ray Coleman. John Newell recovers superbly for fifth place ahead of Clemens Hecker, Kay Sandberg and Mark Taylor. Congratulations, Ryan. Second win, but not quite as smooth as it might have been. No, we just had a little slight misfire in the truck, and uh, we'll uh, get into the data and have a look what the problem was going on. The final race of the weekend for Division 2, and the top eight from race three reversed to form the grid. Villain Breedyck on pole from Brad Smith and John Powell, then John Bowler, Eric Forstrom and Paul Rivette there in the black and blue 22. Steve Powell and Luke Garrett row four from Bjorn T. Hoys and Nim de Kroll, Fran Smith, Trevor Martin next up from Jim Bennett and Graham Powell, Simon Cole and Adam Bint due to complete the group. We don't have Adam Bint again, sadly, as the trucks make their way down towards the start-finish line, ready for their final outing of the weekend in Division 2. A very strong lineup, lots of marks represented and lots of uh, European friends as well in the mix. It's a super start by Brad Smith from the outside of the front row. Very nearly 3-1 as they go into Paddock. Paul Rivette looking around the outside line of the black and yellow 56 of Willem Breedijk and Rivette challenging for third. So it's Brad Smith out front at the moment. John Bowler from the outside of row two. And joining them towards the front is the man who won race three. That's Luke Garrett. Garrett winning race three from Steve Powell, Paul Rivette and Eric Forstrom. As a result, Garrett leads the championship coming into this last race of the weekend by two points. Just two points over Steve Powell with Brad Smith third and Paul Rivette a point behind Brad on 30 points at the moment. Fourth in the standings in his first full meeting with us here at the British Truck Racing Association Championship. Very crowded field coming out of uh, McLaren and going into clearways. Eric Forstrom going a little bit wide there is Simon Cole who hasn't had the rub of the green this weekend in the beast the 41 machine he's further up towards the front in this one and making good progress hunting down Steve Powell at the moment as they go across the line Eric Forstrom not looking happy at the moment in the 50 truck so he's got Bjorty Hoist behind him but out front it's Brad Smith from Paul Rivette now in second place then it's the Championship leader Luke Garrett, Steve Powell busy making progress as well. And oh, a clout on to Simon Cole there by John Powell in the number six. Well, we said that the 41 has not had the rub of the green this weekend, and uh, that was a, a hefty, a hefty side swipe coming out of Druid. That really is, I guess, part and parcel of getting stuck into truck racing. Here comes Steve Powell in the three, he's got a bit of damage. So then the 56 of Villa Breedike, who is passed on the inside line by John Powell, and we'll see whether Simon Cole can make the move up the inside line. You can see the light blue four of Fran Smith with Eric Forstrom right in behind him as well in the Sisu. Eric, of course, race one winner. So we've had now three different race winners. Race one won by Eric Forstrom, race two won by Steve Powell, and race three won by Luke Garrett, who's looking to try and pick up the first double but he's got a lot of work to do having said that he's already in third place and on the outside line of Paul Rivette as they come into Druid's corner the hairpin slice corner on track great view of the field coming through outside line there for the Dutchman in the 56 truck and John Powell still making progress he's got clear actually at the moment of the 41 machine of Simon Cole Simon's still running now battle on for the lead and Paul Rivette gets the lead so it's Rivette now leading this might be the first time we've seen Paul I can't remember if he led the race at Stetson at all they were fully reverse grid races back at Step. but Paul Rivette in the Tacosis truck is leading second place is Brad Smith coming under pressure now from Luke Garrett who goes side by side Garrett's got the space got the speed up into second place and Brad Smith who is currently 
third of the championship. If it stays like this, Smith will find himself behind Rivet. It's only two points b between them now as Luke Garrett has a little nudge on the back end of Paul Rivet, doesn't dislodge him. And Garrett goes through on the inside line. He's going to run wide at Druid to carry a lot of speed into Druid. Now Brad Smith goes through, back into second place, past Rivet, and also potentially re grabbing third place in the championship standing. So it's all seesaw stuff at the moment. Not Sisu stuff, they're a little bit further behind. But you're going to have to be brave now to bet against Luke Garrett in this one. Brad Smith and Paul Rivet still dicing hard over second place. Rivet led them across the line, of course, in second, but Brad nipping past him at Druid. So Rivet, a very welcome and strong addition to the British Truck Racing Association Championship. And you know, we're reminded of the days of drivers like Steve Parrish and Barry Lee and people like that who used to race in trucks. And Rivet, look at the speed, goes around the outside line of Brad Smith. The Leicestershire man passes him and goes back into second place. Smith will be looking to repay the favour here for sure, but it's Luke Garrett getting away. Garrett with fastest lap in this one. Rivet on the wide line coming up into Druids. I think he's clear of Smith. Runs, uh, a little bit wide, and Smith's going to poke his nose up the inside line here, but that would mean the outside line for the back of the, as they come down into Graham Hill Bend. And Rivet is going to hang on to second position. But when you think Paul Rivet, this is only his second meeting in trucks, having had that one off a couple of seasons ago at Snetterton. So he's learning all the time about the truck, about truck racing. Um, and this potentially a third podium out of four races for him. He really is marking himself out very modest when we talk to him but you know without a doubt knows how to win racing championships if you've watched him had the pleasure of watching him in Clio's as, as I have done over many years you'll know what a great competitor he is so Eric Forstrom having a look there at Franz Smith that is for seventh place good battle between the two overseas drivers and Forstrom through on the inside line Franz Smith drops down Smith scored well he's fifth in the championship at the moment in blue so good points for him and we keep our fingers crossed that some of our overseas drivers will make the travels to Pembrey for round two which takes place um, in mid-May. Forstrom there past Frank Smith, well worth the trip if uh, for our overseas drivers and indeed all our UK fans. Uh, great circuit. position on John Bowler who's going to have a look to the outside line and see if he can get it back but Steve Powell's got the racing line maybe got a little bit more speed Bowler's having an attack on the outside I tell you what that was good momentum from Bowler on Clark curve and onto Brabham straight but he's got to brave it out on the outside line here at Paddock and that's a difficult thing to do in a car an even more difficult thing to do in a truck and John loses the position, so Steve Powell is up into fourth. John Bowler fifth, here is the race leader on his last lap. Luke Garrett will pull another couple of points clear at the top of the table in Division 2 in these very early stages of the 2019 campaign. But he'll have the milestone of having taken the first driver, will be the first driver to have taken two wins. He's only got Jim Bennett to negotiate here in the 28. Always good to see Jim out in the set and Atkinson. Jim's running in 13th position. A little look further back. Nim de Kroll in the 15 uh, is there racing hard as well. A couple of laps down he's Nimda after problems earlier on. But the run down to the check and flag for Luke Garrett who becomes our first double winner in Division 2 of the 2019 season. Paul Rifet. He's still running in second. There is Trevor Martin, who completes the top ten at the moment. Busy chasing Graham Powell, who's going to get a finish. Rivet second. Brad Smith will take third place as we again. There is Brad crossing the line to complete the podium. Steve Powell in fourth. But it's Luke Garrett that will lead the championship for Division 2. Put show voting from him to entertain the fans. Garrett the winner from Paul Rivet. Brad Smith is third from Steve Powell and John Bowler. John Powell next. Forstrom and Frank Smith, Graham Powell ninth from Trevor Martin, Phil and Bleedijk, Bjorn Tihoyt and Jim Bennett complete with the finish. Podium on each of the races which means you're the championship leader as we head to Pembroke. 
Yeah, I am. <laughs> Maybe, but obviously, we've got a long, long year, um, and you know, reliability is everything, which we say all the time. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, it's going to be an exciting year, I think. Pretty great CMV commercial with the trucks this year's title sponsor. Well, tell us how how you got more involved with the championship. We get invited to convoy in the park. Um, We've covered the truck festivals for many years. We have a hospitality facility and we bring half a dozen ready-to-go trucks um, uh, and we try and hire them and sell them. That's our business. I wasn't at that point interested in the truck racing until I seen uh, 24 tract units you know, coming towards the first corner you know, at 100 miles an hour and I thought, wow. you know, Because um, uh, you don't associate a tract unit doing that speed. Our business sponsors various different motor uh, sport events. So when we get the opportunity to sponsor the championship, um, I thought, well, I think we can add, we can bring a lot to it. You know, um, uh, our customers like it. Uh, we do a bit of business here. You know, so yeah, no, no, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to the season ahead. Mark Taylor on pole position for the final race of the weekend. Kay Sandbergen alongside from Clement Secker, John Newell, Ray Coleman and Stuart Oliver, then David Jenkins and Brian Smith. Richard Collett again sadly a non-starter so Ryan Smith won race three two wins so far for Ryan Smith he leads the championship and he's got work to do yet again from the back of the grid along with David Jenkins who runs third in the championship point down Stuart Oliver he's three behind Ryan Smith as we go into the last race of the weekend it's a quick start from David Jenkins in the 69, but out front as they go around Paddock Hill Bend for the first time. They're all going to make it round. How, just think how tight the Division 1 racing has been so far. It's John Neal who leads. Neal the leader, then Mark Taylor in the 81, running in second position. So a good start from Neal. Dave Jenkins already is up into, I was going to say third, but by the time I got it out, he was up into second place. Incredible start from David Jenkins from the back of the grid. Remember, Jenkins was second in the last race, so starts in the penultimate position in this race. Because we've got eight trucks starting and it's the top eight reversed, he was right at the back, so an incredible start from him. Ryan Smith has made progress as well. We're looking at Clemens Hecker at the moment chasing Ray Coleman in the number two truck. Down the inside line goes Ryan Smith, passes Kay Sandberg, and Stuart Oliver is in pursuit literally on track and metaphorically points wise as well being three points down on Smith coming into this race so Smith has effectively bagged up one point advantage per race over Stuart Oliver so far bear in mind we've had two fastest off the front races and one reverse grid race for the division ones that's uh, some achievement and it indicates how hard you have to work to keep racking up the points so Mark Taylor coming under pressure from his teammate Stuart Oliver right there at the moment as well in fourth position it's still John Newell out front and the back of the third is settled in front of Ryan Smith and it looks like Stuart Oliver's going to go through as well as David Jenkins piles the pressure on John Newell out front well the uh, the guys starting at the back having been at the front of the previous race are certainly making the coming through the field through Clark Curve onto Brabham Strait where they are now. Jenkins still there in second. Now Ryan Smith goes high and wide into Paddock Hill Bend, looking on the outside line to challenge for second place. And this is taking the pressure off John Neal, who's building up a gap as the pair of them, Jenkins and Smith, squabble over second place. Smith goes to the outside, dives back to the inside line. Jenkins is hard on the break. I think there was some contact. Stuart Oliver was in the mix, but isn't there now. He's dropping back. Jenkins is on the grass. And it's Ryan Smith out front now. He's in, well, out front ahead of David Jenkins. So Ryan Smith up to second. Jenkins is down to third. And it's still John Newell out front. But these two will give chase. I thought Stuart Oliver might have had a problem. He's down in fourth. So what was a quartet running together is a leader with a little bit of a lead, then a brace of trucks for second position, a gap back to Stuart Oliver, who is running in fourth place. It's still Mark Taylor in fifth position as David Jenkins is far from finished here in the Digraph Hyab MAN. Here is Ray Coleman having a look at the inside line now of Mark Taylor and Coleman. Taylor's seen him. They go into Paddock Hill Bend. That's nice, clean, fair racing at Paddock. Coleman goes through. 
Good manoeuvre here, still jockeying for position, maybe a little touch between the two, but as we look head on, coming up towards Richard, you can see they get so close. That really was precision driving from both of those men, and Ray Coleman shows how you can make a pass clearly in the Lantern truck. Ray hasn't had a, a superb weekend. Remember, he had a DNF earlier on in, in the meeting, and, and that will cost you dearly. So Ray working hard to just bag as many points as he can to stay in touch with everybody in the main championship. Things tend to even out. We've got a quartet for the lead again. So it's John Newell out front. Look at Ryan Smith, though. Smith looking to the inside line, keeping it tight as they come out of clearways. But is he going to get the run? Stuart Oliver closing up again. Stuart Oliver dropping away, in fact, to get him fourth faced out as Ryan Smith looks to the inside line. Newell's got it covered. Smith might go for the cut back here, as we've seen many other drivers do so far this weekend. Neil looking a little bit tail happy there. He's under pressure. Ryan Smith going round the outside line. David Jenkins might take his chances up the inside. But Smith's having the go, but there's contact attack by John Neil. And that has caused Stuart Oliver to get involved as well. And Ryan Smith is facing the wrong way. The championship lead and the triple champion. He gets going again. The one thing we know about Ryan Smith is he won't give up. But look at that. Hey, Sambo, they're trying to go through. Smith so quickly back on the gas. From a standing start at Druids, he's managed to uh, deal with Zandbergen and also the advancing Clemens Hecker, who incidentally is six in the championship standings coming into this race. Stuart Oliver did pick up damage in the seven. Now, that looks like some, uh, some bad smoke. That is a bad omen for Stuart Oliver as David Jenkins crosses the line and goes onto the last lap. 1.2 miles around the Indy circuit to go. And Ryan Smith, remember, has had two wins today and leads the championship. David Jenkins looking for his first win of the season. Another win to add to his impressive canon of victories over his career. And the other win, of course, going to Stuart Oliver, who is a non-finisher, sadly, in this one. John Neal's second. There is Ray Colburn who, after some real hard work, finds himself up on a podium position here with Mark Taylor in fourth. Ryan Smith is still in fifth position and bagging very useful points here, Ryan Smith. Mark Taylor's going to remember this meeting as being the one where he grabbed his first podium, really getting stuck in with his teammate earlier on. But this race sees David Jenkins in 69 take the chequered flag, win for Jenkins. John Newell is second, Ray Coleman not that far away in third place. Here is John Newell, though, who will pick up P2. David Jenkins is rightly delighted with that in front of his many fans here at Brands Hatch. Jenkins taking the win from John Newell and Ray Coleman. Mark Taylor in fourth ahead of Ryan Smith and Kay Sandberg and Clements Hecker in seventh. Fastest lap winner, David Jenkins. David, many congratulations. Fastest lap, good pace to have at the end of the meeting. Yeah, great pace to start the year with, great pace to end the meeting with, and I think it shows that once again we're going to be an absolute force this year. With, uh, you know, John Newell's obviously coming on, Ray Coleman's there bobbing around, and all the all the usual suspects as well. Uh, it's just going to keep carrying on like this, isn't it? And keep getting the pace is just going to get hotter and hotter. John, congratulations on second position in that race. It's so hot and sticky out there, and must be very tiring doing the amount of laps you've done this weekend. Yeah, I'm very tired now, but uh, adrenaline's running. We're a good race, and uh, we'll be good to go home, no problem. Ray Coleman, so good to see you back on the podium. Congratulations on that. Tell us a little bit about your race. Uh, well, it was, it was a hard race, especially in these uh, conditions as well. Um, it was a good race. There was quite a bit of contact, or people spinning out. Um, but no, very good to be on the podium. Uh, we've completely rebuilt the truck, so really just getting back into the truck and getting the uh, feel for it. So yeah, well happy with the performance. So I want to thank the team that have uh, rebuilt it and the supporters. Congratulations on being our fastest overseas racer this weekend. How does that feel? Yeah, great. So unbelievable. If you have so much work put in a truck in, a, in, a, in the winter time, so new engine, new gearbox, and it was driving like a new truck on Friday, and we got a lot of problems, but the team was working very hard, and we got a beautiful Sunday today. So three races on Sunday, and great. Standings look like this: a tie at the top of Division One between Ryan Smith and David Jenkins. John Newell is third from Mark Taylor and Stuart Oliver. Ray Coleman six, Clement Secker in seventh, and Kate Sandbergen in eighth. Division Two headed by Luke Garrett by eight points from Steve Fowl. Paul Rivet is third, head of Brad Smith and John Powell. Eric Forster completing the top six. Well, that's our first racing weekend complete for the MV Commercial 2019 British Truck Racing Association Championship.
super stuff on tarmac to get us underway for this year. Please join us next time when we're at Pembrey in South Wales. <laughs>